hope you're all having a great day. This is Mary from Around the Craft Room. I appreciate y'all all coming over and checking out our latest craft. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe. Please suggest it to other people and possibly leave some comments. I'd like to see some comments and see if there's anything that y'all would like to see me do. I'd appreciate it and let's get into the video. Okay, I've picked these little jars up at the Dollar Tree and I've got I've got some different ones that I've gotten in the past. It's a little bit different size. Tim Holtz makes some really cute ones that are longer and uh, different, all different sizes. So these little jars come in all different sizes. So maybe you've seen these at the Dollar Tree and you're thinking, well, they're really cute in the Crafter Square section. Um, well, what would I do with them? What could I do with them? Here's some things that I've come up with and I've put in journals before. I've put them on tassels, attached them to other things. So I just wanted to show you a couple of things of what I do with them. I make several journals. I have journals for like when we go on trips. I usually have a journal for um, any trip that we go on. My friend and I went to South Carolina and then we went on out to the beach. This is a traveler's journal that I made and I kept the memorabilia from the trip and everything. But one thing I did when we went to the beach is I brought back a little bit of sand, just, just a handful, just a little bit of sand. And I made a little charm by putting the sand that went with the beach that we went to. This sand is a little bit different because this is when I went to visit my granddaughter in California and I usually try to write down the beach we went to and write down what it is and so I've put that one in there and actually the beach from the east coast and the beach from the west coast is different kinds of sand look at that isn't that cool I brought back a handful of sand when I went to Australia now look at the difference in the sands this is from the East Coast, and the West Coast, and then this one looks more like crushed seashells. That one was from Australia. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then if you don't want sand in it, I'll show you some different things you can put in it. So here's the way I do it. I'll take uh, some eye pins like this, and then I'll take the little cork and the best way I've found is to take a needle and I'll take a needle and push all the way through first and just hold it with my pliers or whatever and push a hole all the way through it. And then I'll take the head pin and make sure it goes through that hole that I punched in. And then as it goes through there, I'll take a drop of E6000 and put on this part of the pin way up here. And you probably don't need that much. So let's drop some of that off of there. And then as I push the pull the pin all the way through with the with a pair of pliers, again you don't need very much, just enough that you know it's gonna stick in there once it gets down in there. And it's gonna go all the way down in there. And you'll probably have to wipe some of it off. Take some of it off there, but make sure some, just a little bit stays on. And then pull the head pin all the way through. And leave it just a little bit out. Okay, leave it out of the cork like that. Then I just cut off the end of the head pin underneath the little cork. Fill it with your sand. Okay. So I'm just gonna pour, fold my paper in half, obviously. Pour some of that sand in there. I'll still get my little seashells out because I may add those to another part of my book. I don't think the sea, no, the seashells are not gonna fit down through there. If you had them small enough, maybe, but then just pour a little bit of your sand in there. Obviously I brought this sand back in a little, probably the water bottle I was 
pad out on the beach. I usually like to put it about, oh, maybe about half full, maybe just a little bit more. Kind of like that. And then I go back with my E6000 and put just a little bit of that around my cork and then just glue him down here. Now there was some of the sand will stick to the bottom of the cork. That's just normal, but just stick it in there like that. And once it sets, you can have little sand in your little apothecary jars and then put it on your charm or on your tassel. I know where the sand came from because that's what the book's about. This is my journal from when I went to Australia and this is a tassel I made with the little jar with the sand in it. Okay, so maybe you didn't go to any beaches or anything like that where you have sand or something like that. Maybe you went to the mountains. You could do that with a little bit of a little dirt in it or something, bring that back. Another thing is uh, when I was in Girl Scouts, we would uh, come back with a little container from ashes that you had a Girl Scout campfire. Anyway, if you had something like that you wanted to remember, you could do something like that. Or I have some tiny little beads. Let's do the same thing with this. cute a little jar with little tiny beads in it something I love but at the same time I hate the mess it makes is glitter so I have this bucket of glitter let's take this really pretty blue just definitely want to put a piece of paper down under the, that I've got this little tool that can scoop out some glitter and see if I can put it down in there without making too big a mess. That might take a while. One of those little cut, one of those little spoons you get at the, when you go taste ice cream would work. I wish I had one of those, something like that. So I'm just gonna try pouring some glitter in there, which of course I'm making a big mess. But that would be really cute if you did several different little jars with lots of different color of glitter. Before I go any further with that, I think I need to clean up this little mess I got here. Okay, back to the putting the E6000 around our little cork. And putting it down into our little jar. You don't want to push it too hard because then these little corks will break. This is our little glitter jar. And then here's our little jar with the little beads. And then our jars with sand in them. I just want to show you a quick little video on what you could do with these little glass jars from the Dollar Tree. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day.